We welcome you back to what's new uh, this morning. More frustration for flyers. We've been saying that for several years. It seems like it's been an ongoing story, but this time it hits real close to home. Yeah. Spirit Airlines was right in the middle of that target. Right? You're just ready to go to vacation and do your <laughs> thing, and then it's like everything stops when you get to the airport. According to the company, technical issues on its app, website, and airport kiosks caused issues for more than two hours today. Now, they have resolved the issues. That all took place just after 1130, but NBC is reporting that that glitch delayed 90% of Spirit's flights. Wow, that's just incredible. This delay comes days after the Transportation Secretary Administration, uh, Security Administration rather, reported that 2023 screening volumes have surpassed 2019 levels, putting more pressure on airlines to meet the demands of summer travelers. But what I don't get, Bets, is once upon a time we were at these levels. Yep. And I don't remember these issues. I mean, there was there have always been issues. Right. But I don't remember issues where nine out of ten flights from one particular airlines were canceled. Yeah. And so I, I just I'm baffled by how we're supposed to have all this technology and we're supposed to be advancing the ball. And now that we're back to pre-pandemic flight levels and travel levels, we can't handle it. Well, I think that you know the glitches that are happening are are very interesting. Southwest had a full on meltdown. They did. They yeah. had been warned that that was coming. Mm -hmm. um, and now they are investing, investing, investing on fixing all the issues that they sure. had. We have no idea what happened with Spirit yet um, as to what it was. But I think the big thing is um, technology advances at the same time that the airlines had to take a step back because of the pandemic. Right. So what changed during that time? That's the technologically or technically yeah and in their systems too these are not just like you know point and click systems this is like serious big integrated systems with security issues and all kinds of stuff and I, I just I just am, am gobsmacked at how efficiently it does run yeah because you think of the millions of people that are traveling on any one day around the globe and, and it's just one airline and one two-hour period that right. messed things up for those folks. Uh, how did we do this before computers? I, do you remember paper tickets? And I even absolutely that, even that paper was on tickets. That was on a computer chip. It was, well, at the end of the day, you're right, right? it was. A, 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 Go to the a travel agent. inferior and, computer. Yeah, right. But it worked. Little dot matrix printer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, love you, Mom. She's probably watching, so I have to say this. Uh, I love you. But she will not show up at the airport without the printed ticket. <laughs> I, Jason, I can't board my flight if I don't have this ticket. Yeah. I said, no, Mom, you can. You can just show up and show them your ID. They'll find you. No, no, no. There's some, she, days, she, there's some days it's still better. I get up to the airport, and I get to the line where they're going to, like, yeah. zing it yeah. so I can get on the and flight. It work. And that's when my phone decides, eh. Your battery dies. You don't need to go anywhere. I've had that happen. <laughs> yes. Battery dies seconds before I'm going to scan in. I